objective and a project. Uh, we can very well call an, uh, you know, sorry, an OKR a project, right? Because uh, most of the features are of what exactly is a project. But OKR and project management are different approaches altogether. But they do have their similarities. So both frameworks recognize importance of planning. And they are applied to guide teamwork and collaboration. So both of them are majorly focused on planning. And secondly, both of them are going to guide you towards the teamwork and collaboration. Now let's look into the difference between OKR and projects. In OKR, the duration is normally three months, while a project can be from X to Y months. A project can be of one week, a project can be of one month, a project can be of six months. Now the purpose. The overall purpose of OKR is that it has to have some improvement, some innovation or some problem solving. While a project, again, at the same term, is improvement, innovation and problem solving. So I'm just going to count the differences and similarities at the same time. Then about the success me measurement. The OKRs use key result as a success criteria, wherein the projects use outcomes and deliverables as a success criteria. Then coming to the execution, execution is majorly initiative in OKR and a project plan and projects. While the stakeholders are project manager and project team, a project stakeholder has to have a project manager, of course, but the stakeholder depends. It can be inside, outside, you know, your clients, your uh, sales team, your pre-sales team, all of them. So this is a part of projects. So now if somebody is asking you, is OKR a project? Not necessarily, or cannot be. Are you going to get something out of your project in terms of OKR? Yes, maybe. My project can help me reach to my OKR. My OKR is going to help me reach my project deliverables? No, not necessarily. Or might not be. Because your project might have a different deliverable altogether. That is how it is. Thank you.